Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a speed clean with me and I'll be showing you guys a before and after. So last time in my cleaning video, I did one half of my kitchen. Today, I'll just be tackling the other half or at least as much of it as I can. Before we get any further into this video, I do want to take this time to remind you guys that if you're new here, it means so much to me if you go ahead and subscribe. Please don't forget to turn on your post notifications, that way you don't miss out on any videos coming up next on my channel. And if you enjoy seeing this type of content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That way I just know if you're enjoying it or not. There's really no other way for me to know if you don't do that, so that would mean so much to me. So my initial plan was to start with my soapy water and to just spray and clean everything down. I figured it'd be good enough to get all the grease and grime just off of everything because obviously this is close to the stove and you know anywhere close to where you cook is just going to be a sticky greasy mess. So I'm just putting in some elbow grease and working as hard as I can to get as much of the grease and just dust and all the yucky stuff off the best that I can. By the way, you guys, it didn't take long for me to realize that I was definitely going to be overworked in this process. I felt like the more I cleaned, the less got done, which doesn't really make sense, but I just set a timer that way I know I've been working on this one area for a given amount of time and then I know after that I just move on because otherwise I would be here all day trying to get off everything just from this area alone. Like I. Honestly, you guys, <laughs> I was so in over my head, it's not even funny, and I thought maybe I wouldn't share this video with you guys, but I want you to know that there are real people out there who are struggling to get their cleaning done. And although my kitchen is clean pretty much 95% of the time, I never really take the time to pull the stove out and just clean this area and oh my god, I feel like there was just layers and layers of dust and dirt and food and a whole bunch of messy stuff. Honestly, I was so grossed out, I felt like I should have worn a mask or I should have just hired someone to do this for me because it was absolutely disgusting. Although I enjoy cleaning, I don't really enjoy doing the really disgusting jobs and this was absolutely disgusting. Like look at the cloth and all I did was wipe one side of the stove. And of course, because we got our spray bottles out, Little Miss Ellie realized this was her opportunity to come help and helping is exactly what she did. She really helped to clean the side of the stove that's already clean and she also really helped to get the floor nice and wet because she went a little bit overboard with the spraying of the soapy water, which is why I'm glad I used things like this. I also needed to ask my husband to come and help me move the stove out the rest of the way because I was just struggling you guys and I just I could not I feel like my arms are so weak I had been working out a lot recently and my arms are too sore okay my arms are too sore to be pulling and lifting these heavy things and I just could not so I asked for help when I needed it and I really wanted to quit but I figured if I didn't do it and I know that it's this messy I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I didn't at least make some sort of progress which is my only goal for today is to make a little bit of progress because I am not going to get everything done everything will not be perfect and that is okay with me good enough is going to be good enough for me today so initially when I started spraying the backsplash and like the wall behind where the stove is I was spraying it with bleach because I figured bleach is the only thing that's gonna like get this stuff up but the bleach didn't really do anything so 
I then decided, you know what, I don't want to inhale these chemicals anyway. Let me just go and get the big boy. And I went and got my Dawn Power Wash Spray, which actually works really, really good on grease and grind. You just spray it on, wait a few seconds, a few minutes, whatever time you have. And then you go in and you just scrub it lightly after and most of the work will be done for you. So that's what I did. And like I said, you guys, I'm not here to do this perfect and make everything completely clean and all the stains gone. I'm just here to get off like the first base layer at least, just so I can feel good enough to sleep tonight knowing that I at least started this project. I feel like keeping this area of my kitchen is going to have to be something I do on rotation, maybe once every two weeks or something like that because this is definitely not a one day job or at least it definitely isn't a one day job for me today because I am struggling, you guys, like legit struggling. So over an hour has gone by of me working on the backsplash and behind the stove area and then I realized I didn't even clean out this cabinet so I'm just going to clean out some of the cabinets, continue to wipe the outside of them. I'm not going to deep clean anything else. I'm just giving everything else a quick little tidy because that's all I have left in me you guys and I'm not ashamed to admit that. You know what, sometimes in life you just have to learn your limits and I've realized I've met mine today and I'm definitely not feeling bad about that. Also I wanted to share my mom hack with you guys. I just take a brand new sponge and I cut it in half and I use half at a time for cleaning because then my sponges go a little bit longer when I do it this way. been over two hours of me working on this part of my kitchen and I am just done like literally done but I wanted to just take some time to thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoy this I hope that my realness really resonates with you and you realize that you do not have to do everything all at once you don't even have to do all the things that you set out to do just do enough where you feel like good enough is good enough for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.
I'd always get right back 